So let's say you're working for a company and um, someone called you that he or she have a problem whereby they try to actually configure a new webcam and the, web and the webcam is not working. Or for example, they just got um, a new printer and that printer is actually a standalone printer and they need to install that printer on their Windows 11 device. But when you try, when they try to install it, it does not work, which means first of all, they will need admin right to be able to install the drivers on that device. And even if they were able to install the driver, probably for one reason or the other, the printer still could not work. So, first of all, what you want to do is the following. If a device is installed or sometimes a user is having some issues with his audio device or with a specific hardware device, what you want to do is to right click on your start menu and go to computer management. We can still go to device management, but I want to actually go to computer management because we have some other options from our computer management. So from our computer management, here we have device manager. So in device manager, you have all the hardware that actually be that have been installed on your device. You have all the hardware. Here you can actually see all the hardware drivers. If, for example, a specific hardware is actually missing a driver, then here you can actually see by the yellow exclamation mark. For example, we have the Microsoft Hyper-V Virtual Machine Bus Provider. You can see there's a yellow exclamation mark which is actually missing. We can actually update this driver or can install this uninstall this device but let me just cl close that now so for example if for example there's a problem with a network adapter we have the monitor and also we also have our mice and other pointing device here you can see we have our display adapter so if for example the display adapter is not working very well we can decide to actually update this driver or we can actually i just i don't want to do that right now or we can actually uh, uninstall this device and the driver will be automatically installed to this device so if i click for example if i click update driver and what you want to do sometimes you want to actually search automatically for drivers if the driver is available on your device or it can actually be installed or you can actually go to the internet and search for the best driver to get it installed but if the driver is not available, we can actually browse my computer. We can say, okay, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my device. So it's going to actually tell me, okay, well, you can see we just have this some few basic um, driver models, but I can still click on half disk to actually browse the location of where the driver is. For example, I've downloaded the drivers from the from this um, uh, vendor website i can actually browse to the to the location to maybe to a usb location or to the temp folder where i actually copied that file to and then get it in, get that file installed you can see i'm actually actually need a dot inl file to actually get that driver uh, updated so i'm going to cancel that for right now because i don't want to update and also for example here i've seen the situation about um Definitely, you're going to actually experience that in the future because you may have a situation whereby um, a user, this is actually a virtual machine at this moment. You can see we're not seeing a wireless network adapter here. So, if for example, a user says he's not having his wireless connection, is not working very well. So, what you want to do is actually check if, for example, the user's network adapter is working or um, the, is the, if the driver is up to date and check which version of network adapter. I think I need to select the right. Um, adapter so just click and then go to properties from the properties here we can now go to drivers driver and see when was this drive the driver updated you can see this actually 2010 is actually a virtual machine we can actually now go to to update the driver and browse to the location pick from the list we can now have the disk of where the driver is located so and also if you plug a printer into your device into in, into your um windows 10 or windows 11 device definitely the printer is going to be actually listed here so but mind you you need to you need to actually see if for example um it's actually a plug and play it's going to actually install automatically but if it's not a plug and play what you need to do is to go to your start menu from here we can decide to go to let me just just enter printers So here you can see we have the print management. But mind you, here we have the print management. I also have the printers and scanners. So if you want to actually add a printer, you can see we can add a printer or scanner. So let me just click on add a printer or scanner, which is going to take me to my, to my Windows 11 settings. 
so here you can see we can actually add a printer it says uh let me just try to add a device So it's actually trying to add a printer, but what we can actually say is the printer that I want uh, that I that I want is not listed. So I can actually click add manually. So let me just add that manually. But mind you, this is actually a virtual machine. So if you are working in a um, in a company, what you want to do is when you want to add a printer using an IP address or a host name, or you can actually say select a shared printer by name. You can actually browse to the printer, or you can actually find a printer in your Active Directory that has actually been deployed to your um, to uh, to all your devices. So what we can actually do here is to add a local or network printer manual with manual settings. So let me just click next. So I'm going to use an existing port here. You can actually select. Let me just select the default for LPT1 and click next. Here you can see it says we have just two um, options. So let me just browse down and I can go to for Microsoft and see, let me just select the um, Microsoft. Let me see manufacturer. I can just decide to select that and then click next. And now we can ask just, let me just call this the PR001. Click next. So as you can see now it's trying to actually install the print um, the printer on this device. So well, I don't I don't want to share this printer because it's actually a local printer. Let me just click next and then click finish. And then here we go. You can see that the printer has just been added. Let me cancel that. Has just been added to this device. So in the next video, I'm going to, in the, on a different video, I'm going to show you how to actually troubleshoot printer issues because this is one of the major issues you're going to be having as an IT help desk technician because you're going to be receiving a lot of calls from users telling you that they have issues with their printer, they can't print. How do you actually solve those printer issues? This will, this, this will, we are going to be discussing in a total different video but mind you i just showed you how to actually install a printer and also if for example you want to install um you want to update a, for example a, a specific hardware like a printer a usb um plug and play device that's not um that that, it, that didn't work very well the best way to actually update that driver to get the latest driver is to go to the website of that vendor if for example the printer is an hp printer you will need to actually ask the user to provide you the model of that printer then go to the internet or go to go to hp website and then download the uh, the, the printer driver from the HP website and not from a different um, website that doesn't belong to HP. Go to the HP. When you type that model of the driver in, on the internet, definitely it's going to provide you, take you to HP website and download it from there. If the if the vendor is actually, for example, is um, is Sony, just go to the uh, the website of Sony and download this exact specific driver for that device, and then install it on the on the on the on the Windows 10 or Windows 11 device, and then ask the user to actually test it. If you are doing that remotely, ask the user to test it. If it did not work, one of the best solution you could ever have as an IT help desk technician or IT service desk technician is to always ask the user to restart his or her device. So by starting the, this device, it allows to actually solve about 50% of issues related to um, a, a specific uh, application is not working or a specific hardware is not working or a specific software is not working. Just ask the user to see, first of all, if you perform any action, try to restart that device because most of the hard um, drivers actually get pending until the device is restarted. So next, what we'll be discussing next is actually about remote desktop connections. So I'll be showing you the different remote desktop connections, con remote connections we have in Windows 10 and Windows 11, and how they will actually remotely connect to our device if we, if you want to actually resolve issues with users if you are not sitting on the same locations. So please, if you have if you have gone so far to watch this video, I believe you still you are still very interested in becoming an IT help desk engineer. And also, don't forget to leave um, a, leave a review. If you are enjoying this video, you can actually leave a review. It helps me grow my um, my student. And also, if you have any comments, if you think I still need to improve, definitely because I'm new to this, definitely I will also um, I will get improved. Just leave a comment below what you think I need to improve, and definitely I'm going to make sure that I improve on my next video.
and thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video so go to the next video on remote connection i think you're going to learn a lot on remote desktop connection and how to resolve remote desktop connection issues